Thousands of Kenyans make long commutes in Matatus, where the main diversion is music. Especially in traffic jams, which are frequent in Nairobi. Competition is tough, so the hotter the music, the more riders a matatu gets. It's a chance for young DJs. If they sell good mixes, word gets round and clubs hire them. That's how DJ Brownskin started out. I'm driving matatu because I listen to other DJs, yeah. I know which kind of songs people love, yeah. That's one thing good about it. We have that connection about Matatu and the DJs there. Yeah. There's a huge demand for DJs in Nairobi's pulsating nightlife. DJ schools are multiplying. These students all want to make a living from music and have one thing in common. And I say passion or dream. I once DJed when I was in class eight for a home party. And since then I fell in love with DJ. Lessons take place daily. Two months cost around 280 euros. Demand is rising, says the DJ school's owner, Henri Mouchen. DJing is much more than a hobby. Moses Karinga owns a small video shop. He couldn't pay the lessons on his own, but finally convinced his mother to support him. In earlier times, it was referred to as not the kind of casual job for me to do. But now she supports me fully. With the DJ market getting tighter, breaking into the scene isn't easy. Those who made it, like DJ Brownskin, often didn't go to a school. He taught himself with the help of friends. He finally got to know John Nagugi, who became his manager. They meet regularly in John's small office in downtown Nairobi. Brownskin was his first client. Now he has ten. The brother-in-law is the one who taught me how to mix DJ, uh, to be a DJ. Then I took him. We continued with him. Then we took other DJs like DJ Crazy Bone, DJ Lex, and then all of them did go well. One has moved on to Dubai, but Brownskin's dreams go even further. He longs for a gig in the U.S. I see there is future because you're gonna meet people, big people, yeah. And there's where music comes from, yeah. Until then, he'll keep DJing nearly every night in Nairobi's most popular clubs, creating new sounds for Kenya's matatu business.